Hey, it's Eric Jensen, Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate. I hope you're having a great week. Today is the 2nd of December. I can't believe it's the end of 22. Time flies. It's been one hell of a ride this year in real estate. And uh, we're just all trying to adjust. We think the first quarter into the second quarter is going to be a lot better as far as interest rates, loan interest rates, and people normalizing to this the new normal as far as what your home's actually worth today. It's going to take a little longer to sell. You're not gonna have people lined up at the door in, in a lot of cases. However, and I say this all the time, if you bought your home at least two years ago and you haven't taken out you know, cash out refis or home equity line of credits, then you still have a lot of equity compared to what you bought it for. So that's the good news and we'll see what loan rates do. I wanted to check in today on Salt Lake County stats. Last year at this time, there were about 740, only 740 active listings in Salt Lake County. Today, that's up 200%. 200%, so it's almost 20, it's just over 2,300 active listings. So if you were looking last year, I mean, your options are way more. We're not talking 10 or 20% more listings or even 100% more listings. We're talking 200% more listings. Now, sales are down half, closings are down half from last year, but I think that's just part of the adjustment situation. And then more and more people are taking their, their homes off the market right now. And I think that's just, again, people accepting the new normal. And I think first and second quarter, we'll start to see the closings go up, listing count maybe come down a little bit. But if you've had any thoughts of buying or selling, reach out to me. I'd love to go over your options. And I hope you're doing something, especially during the holidays, for self-care. Sort of like a, a routine. Are you, are you doing exercise? Are you getting up early in the morning? Or are you hitting snooze? Are you uh, taking time to be a family rather than just work all day? Or maybe you need to get off the couch and <laughs> go to work. I don't know. But uh, take care of yourself. You know, have a good morning routine, meditation, prayer, whatever works for you and has worked for you. If, if, you've, if you've gotten away from that and you're wondering why you don't feel great, it's because, at least for me, we forget the simple things the small, simple things that make all the difference. So anyway, I hope you have a great week and I love that you're watching my video today and we'll have Allie on here next week.